Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Echo Tango Echo voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 1 mei 2016. Dat is het bulletin van zondag. Today's bulletin as always on Sundays will be in English. We do have Morse code today and right after that we have an SSTV image in PD50 which is decodable with your smartphone using Robot 36 app on Android or CQ SSTV on iOS. Today's picture has the following text explaining it. British post office engineers inspect Marconi's radio equipment during a demonstration on Flatholm Island, May 13, 1897. The transmitter is at center, the coherer receiver below it, the pole supporting the wire antenna is visible at the top. Right now we have some DX news which is an item by myself and in addition to that we have two items of Australian VK1WIA. Huge disappointment can be read in a blog post of Paul, November 6, Papashera Echo, one of the major members in the Interpit DX group, about not being able to go through with a once in a lifetime the expedition to P5 North Korea. Paul criticizes the lack of willingness of several DX organizations to help with the DX expedition's tens of thousands of costs. In the end, he and some others decided to spend a major part of their life savings intended to be used during retirement to make things work. Only two days before departure, he learned that North Korea withdraw some of the visa for team members, including his not willing to spend a significant part of his retirement fund on a project he couldn't participate in, he withdrew his financial participation. A move most people will be able to understand. But it sadly pulled the plug from one of the most memorable the expeditions probably of the century. Next to the lack of financial cooperation from the major DX organizations, Paul also mentions that the plans became public before they should, as a reason for the plans falling through. Juliet Alpha Zero, Juliet Hotel Quebec will be active from Niwi Island, IOTA OC040, May 5 until 10. Call sign and additional information will be announced later. Kilowatt 5, Whiskey Echo will be active from Easter Island, IOTA Sierra Alpha 001, May 25th until June 6th as X-Ray Romeo Zero, Yankee Sierra. He will be operating HF bands, CW, RTTY, including in CQW, WPX, CW contest. Juliet Alpha 3, India Victor Uniform, and Juliet Hotel 3, Alpha Echo Foxtrot, will be active from Barkino Faso until May 4th as X-Ray Victor 2, India Victor Uniform, and X-Ray Tango 2, Alpha Echo Foxtrot. They will be operating on 80 to 6 meters, CW, phone and digital modes. Delta Foxtel 2 Whiskey Oscar will also be active again from Burkina Faso until May 15 as X-Ray Tango 2 Alpha Whiskey. He will be operating HF bands, CW, SSB, RITI, PSK31 and JT65. By invitation of the Belize Amateur Radio Club, Delta Lima 1 Alpha Sierra, Delta Mike 4 India Mike and Delta Kilo 4 Bravo X-Ray will be active from Belize until May 20 as Victor 31 Delta Lima, Victor 31 India Mike and Victor 31 Bravo X-Ray. They will also be using the radio club call Victor 3 Victor. Activity will be 160 meters to 6 meters all modes. From Australia, this is VK1 WIA. Tuning in. A history of radio. The press fulminated, the enthusiasts were frustrated, and the radio manufacturers fumed. Despite the fact that Marconi had invented radio before Queen Victoria had celebrated her Diamond Jubilee in 1897, radio in Britain took another 25 years to begin an official service to listeners. But when, on November 14th, 1922, the British Broadcasting Company's station at Marconi House radiated to an awaiting nation, this is 2LO calling, for the first time under the company's name, it marked the start of the first and most distinguished public service radio station in the world. As part of the celebrations to mark nine decades of the BBC, historian Dominic Sandbrook explored the long and involved pre-BBC history of radio in Britain, how Britain's broadcaster got going and developed into an institution dedicated to entertainment, education and information, discovered how Australian diva Dame Nelly Melba was involved, and how the improbably named Captain Plug made his first commercial broadcast to Britain, sponsored by Selfridge's department store, from the Eiffel Tower. From Marconi to Savoy Hill via an old army hut in Essex, the story of the early radio in Britain. It may still be available to listen to on the BBC's homepage, 
Look for the BBC Radio 4 program, Tuning In. And here is this week's weird and wonderful story. Dog catcher needed for missing astronaut pooch. Think twice before sending your dog, even a toy dog, into space. We hear more from Amateur Radio Newsline's Jim Damron, November 8 Tango Mike Whiskey. I'm Jason, VK2LAW. Find Sam. Those words, preceded by a hashtag, signal the world's focus on social media on the intense search efforts by some London primary school students on locating the plush toy they launched with a helium balloon into space. Sam, the toy dog, was equipped with a GoPro camera and GPS tracking equipment. But when the balloon popped 15 miles above the Earth and everything that went up eventually came down, Sam was nowhere to be found. They did not, after all, equip Sam with a map. Radio amateurs, of course, can relate. Trackers, transponders, balloons, and often ground searches are part of the amateur experience for many who enjoy this kind of experimentation. Now, it's unlikely Sam met with the same fate as Laika, the Soviet space dog who orbited the Earth in 1957 and failed to survive, but the question remains, where in northwest England could Sam have landed? The world asks, have you seen this dog? Even a local hotel that helped sponsor the project is offering a free stay to Sam's finder. For the students, this was supposed to have been a lesson in astronomy and physics. But perhaps the teacher should have also thrown in some studies of animal husbandry, or at least dog breeding. The kids might have decided they'd be better off using a retriever. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jim Dameron, N8TMW. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. Ga jij nog naar de Jutberg deze week? Nee joh, ik kan niet. Ik heb die column gelezen en volgens mij ben ik zowel een technofilosoof als een hitparadist, maar bovenal een paalklever. Ik kan dus gewoon niet.